Nasogastric tube insertion. Before beginning this procedure, always perform the following steps to ensure patient safety. Wash hands per CDC guidelines. Introduce yourself. Use two patient identifiers. Verify allergy status. Materials needed for tube insertion. Lopez valve. Cup of water and straw. Suction tubing. Specimen cup. Stethoscope. Water soluble lubricant. Absorbent pad or towel. Pen light. Tongue blade. pH strips. Tape. NG strip. Irrigation tray. Piston syringe. And nasogastric tube. The procedure. Perform a GI assessment, assessing need for nasogastric tube placement. Place patient in high Fowler's position and cover chest with towel or chucks. Explain the procedure and develop appropriate hand signal for patient. Using a pen light, assess for any facial or nasal passage issues contraindicated for this procedure. If suction is ordered, verify suction source at this time. Connect suction tube to source of negative pressure, setting control per physician's order. Obtain the appropriate equipment for nasogastric tube placement. Measure from the tip of the nair to the earlobe using the NG tube. Then, measure to the xiphoid process of the sternum. Mark the distance on the tube with a piece of tape or marker. Lubricate first four inches of the tube with water-soluble lubricant. Ask patient to slightly flex the neck backward. Insert tube into nair gently. Pull back tube slightly when patient starts to gag until gagging ceases. Ask patient to tip forehead forward. Give water with straw if applicable or have patient dry swallow if necessary. Advance the tube several inches at a time as the patient swallows. Advance the tube until the taped or marked point reaches the nair. Pull back tube immediately if there are signs of respiratory distress. Secure nasogastric tube in place. Do not let go of the tube until secured. Verify placement of the tube. Aspirate stomach content to test pH. Collect gastric content. Test pH. Connect the distal end of the tube to suction, draining bag, or adapter after placement is verified per evidence-based guidelines. Dispose of soiled supplies. Ensure safe environment. Return bed to lowest height with brakes locked and appropriate side rails up and call light and bell in reach. Wash hands per CDC guidelines.